neck to rear my next to favorite redneck in his gliding rocker um y'all know on this channel we support independent artists and that being said when you got independent artists a lot of them are pretty much their music is their income and the ones that are touring especially we found out about some news last night about one of the independent artists' wife. And I'm gonna say two words. Cancer sucks. That's, I mean, the only way I can put it. I lost my mom to cancer. Well, we lost my wife's mom to cancer. I've lost an uncle to cancer. I've lost a cousin to cancer. And I guarantee you, every one of y'all has lost somebody to cancer. That being said, Y'all know who Outlaw Nation, most of y'all that, that are subscribed to me know who Outlaw Nation is. Y'all know who New Breed is. Well, Jesse Howard, which to me has one of the best vocals of any singer, his wife has been diagnosed with breast cancer. That being said, if you can go to Outlaw Nation merch, there's going to be a shirt. I'm not sure when they're putting the shirt up. But there's going to be a shirt and all proceeds from the sale of this shirt go to help Jesse Howard and his wife pay for the cancer treatment. Y'all, please, if you got it and you can do it, go buy your shirt. Help support Jesse Howard in this uh, time of need. You know, they don't have the insurance to really take care of it, so it's going to be out of pocket. So anything to help them, if y'all can. That being said, we're fixing to get up in this one right here. I was going to do it, I wanted to do it a while back, but then my buddy did it, so I waited a little while for his to run. So, huh? Okay. But he did it two months ago, so hey, it's my turn. And y'all gonna find out there's a little something else that goes along with this is gonna be later, maybe, maybe the weekend, maybe, maybe sometime next week. But anyway, there's gonna be something else that goes along with this. But we're gonna get up in this right here. This is Story of My People by Old Skeet featuring All Naw, Paul Paul Fresh. Let's get it. That beat is like some fuck around and find out beat. You know? I mean, it just makes you think, okay. And with, especially with the, the visual you're seeing, it's like, oh no, hey, uh. <laughs> I like it. Let's do it. Everything's in the wagon and they carry the rear. 
stress. Packed it all up and caravaned out west. Survival of the family, blood, sweat, no glory. Generations of a people. It's gone. That story a lot of them. That story a lot of them. People's people. Especially with our Native American blood. I mean, they had to go and they sent them out west. But the farming and all that, I mean, I grew up with that. So I understand all that. And Life's hard for a lot of farmers, and we know that. We do it. For change, everything's in the wagon and to carry the rest. Packed it all up and caravan out west. Survival of the family, blood, sweat, no glory. Generations of a people. It's going to go Just the American people. I mean, I mean, a lot of them. No, I mean, I, I ain't gonna say that because a lot of them did come over here with silver spoons from over from like our ancestors. A lot of the ancestors came over with silver spoons, but a lot of them didn't, and they had to fight and struggle and, and everything. And then that right there. I mean, how many how many caskets have came back draped with that American flag that was fighting for the freedom just for y'all to sleep at night safely? Kids. Kids. 18, 19, 20. Kids. Died fighting for your freedom. Y'all need to learn how to respect this country. The ones that don't. That, that right there, yeah. Let's go. The war, a flag, great coffin, honor and glory, generations of my people. This is Damn line to say this time? Not yet, no. Not yet, no? All right, would you? There's all no Paul Paul doesn't come up in here. So let's, let's get going, going then. He's the last, my dad is the last of 13 children. Y'all. See, I told you not yet. That now is what I have. <laughs> not yet, now is it? Um, you went live? No. Back then, I know I'm reacting to a, a, 
I'm reacting to old Skeet Zone and Paw Paw. Y'all, this right here is, I mean, that right there is a, what family, back back in, my, my dad is the last of 13 children. He was the youngest of 13 children, but he's With the last, he's the last. Children and many great grandchildren. What, the granny, that my granny had? When my granny had, it was like her obituary had, had how many children were still living, because she done lost children, how many of us grandchildren there were, and then there was how many great-grandchildren, then there was how many great-great-grandchildren, and then there was how many great-great-grandchildren. So, I mean, when, when my granny died, she died at 91 years old, so they was already great-great-grandkids. But back then, they had big families to help take care of the family, if that makes sense. You had to have well, farm hey, hands, so you raised. That one story that was on 13 a little while back where it was like a hundred something children. But you raised farm hands back then. By the time that, I remember, I remember driving the tractor when I was probably four, five. So probably five. Driving the tractor while I followed my daddy. He sent, he, y'all don't know about a farm tractor, all you gotta do is just pull the throttle down and he would walk beside it, pull the throttle down until he got the speed he wanted and he would get in front of me and told me to keep the center of that tractor in the center of his back while I pulled the plow, the hair plow behind me and my two older brothers walked behind it dropping the, take two, they take two steps, drop a seed, take two steps, drop a seed, take two steps, drop a seed. So. I understand where these big families what what they were for. They were for to, to, to help take care of the, take care of the crops, take care of the land, take care of that farm animals. Take I mean, America's got away from that. You know, there there's some that still have big families, but not like it was back when I was I was young and 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 the generation before me. So. <laughs> And Tyler, Tyler said that looks like your family, not your family, my family. He was telling me that he's like that looks like your family. The picture. All right, let's go. I mean, for real. I mean, I mean, it's, it's still true today. No, I can't say it's still true today because there's a lot of motherfuckers that don't work the damn heat because the government takes care of them. But especially back then, you didn't work, you didn't eat. I mean, even like I said, I had to work in the fields. I had to, actually we had a, a dairy farm right next to our. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't gonna say it was a farm, but we had crops and all. But, well, we had pigs, and some of the family had chickens, so I guess we kind of, I guess the road was a farm. And then we had the dairy farm right next door that I had to work on during the fucking summer, too. So, you don't work, you don't eat, damn it. Let's go. He's at home, shit cracking, didn't even know his own land. Sweat on my brow, blister on his hand. Hard work, young and you don't need nobody. Don't work, don't eat. Hey, stop. Mom said it best. If you ain't shuck corn and you ain't snap peas, you ain't country. <laughs> Didn't you? Let's go. He 
said something right there that a lot of people, a lot of people, I mean, there's still some people that know about it, but there's a lot of people nowadays do not understand what he meant when he said, dry beans, you got to let them soak. You put them in a pot of water and you let them soak. And you, and the next morning, you'll find out which ones wasn't no good because they'd be the ones that were bobbing around in there. You pull them out, the rest of them ready to cook. But you had to soak them dry beans to make a meal out of them. So that's why back in the old days, they always, you know, meals took a while to prepare. Because a lot of times, some of the stuff you had was they going to dry out to where you had to rehydrate it to prepare it. I, I, I caught that, but I wanted to let it go on through. I, I, okay, I, 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 you know those beans we got in the bag in there? If mom fixes them, she has to put them in a pot. I mean, not a pot, but a bowl. And fill it up with water and let the beans soak overnight before she cooks them the next day. Okay, I'm just letting you know that's, that's what he was talking about. The struggle of life is one of our greatest blessings. It makes us patient, sensitive, and godlike. It teaches us that although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of suffering, uh, overcoming of it. That was Helen Keller. And I don't believe it came from Helen Keller because how does a blind and a deaf chick write? You need to take, and you need more fucking education at your school because they taught us all of that. Because what they have to take and do, do it in but right that right there, have that right there could have just been said. But yeah, she was taught Braille and everything. Yeah. Start it back. Now, y'all, that was. That was old ski and pawpaw featuring pawpaw fresh the story of my people but back to what i said at the beginning if y'all can uh, go to i think it's outlawnationmerch.com but i mean you'll you'll know when you because it, it'll say jesse howard and new breed and look for the breast cancer rise up shirt I'm if not you can sure. purchase I can it, check that right now because the last time that I went to, I'll put it in the description. I understand but, the last time that I went there, there's nothing on there. I seen it, but anyway, until next time, y'all keep it real. Purchase your tracks. We keep it real. What the fuck gonna do it like we do? We keep it real. We make it moves, you see it too. We keep it real, and they don't like that shit. That's the truth. We keep it real. We keep it real, we keep it real Who the fuck gon' do it like we do? We keep it real We make the moves, you see it too We keep it real And they don't like that shit, that's the truth We keep it real, we keep it real We keep it real All the way, not halfway, my catchphrase yeah. Fuck all the bitches, they can catch a face If they want this smoke, then rap away And I'm billing you bitches for all of the time that you making me waste yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I'm rapping it, and all of you bitches are throwing a shade Yeah it's funny though, cause y'all in the comments, but don't grab a mic huh? I'm the Grim Reaper, let me grab my sight Then I'ma send you pussies to the afterlife You don't want the smoke, you don't want the drama You don't want the beef, you don't want the problems And this ain't a threat, nah, it's a problem You gon' be in that obituary column If you keep on fucking with us I don't know why you so mad that you suck And if you can't tell, I ain't giving a fuck So run up our name, keep on living it up Hey, we glad we can help We know that you can't really do it like that You broke fucks, need the cash grab If you needed some money, you could've just asked